again, reception. How are you guys doing? So, we are going to be doing our composition. I know you look like, oh, it's writing. We are writing. So, earlier we spoke about mi familia, my family. So, for composition, you are going to write about your family. But good thing is I gave you the sentence. So you are going to start off the sentence with what I'm telling you, which is I love you. And then you're going to pick a family member. So based on the ones that we spoke about, spoke about our grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, brother or sister, cousin, and um, our auntie and uncle, you're going to write based on that. So you are going to write it in, guess what language? In Spanish this time. So your composition writing in is going to be in Spanish. So same rules apply as far as where the letters go. So I love you. And I know some of you already know how to say that because we sing it at school, which is Te amo. Te amo. I love you. So we're going to write that. Te 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 amo. T-E Space, A M O, te amo, means I love you. So I'm gonna write it here, and I want you to do the same. You're gonna write your sentence in Spanish, and then you're gonna write it in English. So te amo, I love. So now all you have to do is pick a family member. So for instance, if I say te amo primo, do you remember what primo is? It's cousin, primo. So P R I M O. And our sentences start with a Capital letter and end with a period or a full stop. Okay? So it always starts with a capital letter, ends with a punctuation mark. In this case, we're using a period. So, I love you. So the word is primo cousin. right but if you pick cousin so if you pick primo which is cousin i need you to tell me which one it is is it a boy or is it a girl if you pick hermano hermana in in english the translation is easy because it's going to say brother or sister. Abuelo, abuela, it says, you know, grandfather, grandmother. But cousin is the only word that in English you can't tell if it's a boy or girl. So I need to make sure you know which one it is. Oh, I forgot my punctuation mark. So if you're going to pick the word primo. I love you, cousin. That is a what? A boy or girl? That's a boy. Okay? So, make sure. So, that's all you have to do. Write it in Spanish. Write it in English. So, I know you know what you mean. 
Te amo, primo. I love you, cousin. So, I hope you have fun writing in Spanish and then translating it in English for me. So, you have until next week. But if you have time, definitely you can hand it in today. Okay? Have a great day, guys. God's blessings on you. Have fun. I'll be sending some more activities that are fun for you guys. Have a great day.